Irish mythology is filled with entities that are both fascinating and terrifying. Here are 12 of the deadliest Irish mythical monsters and creatures. Let's get to it. The first one, the Banshee. This is a female spirit from the Irish folklore that is said to appear as an old hag or sometimes as a beautiful young woman. The Banshee is typically associated with death and is said to wail and scream loudly foretelling the death of a family member. According to legend, the Banshee is only hurt by certain families, usually those with Irish ancestry or those who have been visited by the spirit in the past. Her wailing is said to be heard at night, either outside the family home or inside of it. Number 2. Baelor Baelor, also known as Baelor of the Evil Eye, is a giant from Irish mythology who is known for his fearsome appearance and destructive power. He is said to have been the king of the Fomorians, a race of giants who were known for their strength and battle prowess. He is depicted as having only one eye, which is said to be very powerful that it could cause destruction with a single glance. He is also depicted as having an imposing stature and is said to be able to crush his enemies with ease. Number 3. The Dullahan Often depicted as a headless horseman who carries his own head, which is said to glow with an eerie light. According to legend, the Dullahan rides through the countryside at night, carrying its head in one hand and a whip made of human spine on the other. It is said to call out the name of the person who is about to die, and when it stops riding, that person's life is said to be over. It is said that it cannot be stopped or deterred, and that the doors and gates will open for it as it passes. Number 4. The Avartak This was a malevolent dwarf ruler who terrorized his subjects, using his dark powers to enslave them and force them to do his bidding as well as feed on their warm blood. Avartak was buried in a shallow grave, but it is said to have risen from the dead three times, only to be killed again and again. Only after a druid instructed a chieftain to impale the monster with a stake through its heart was it finally defeated. This creature was also the real inspiration to Bram Stoker's Dracula. Number 5. The Dovar Ku According to legend, the Dovar Ku is a fierce and aggressive creature that lives in rivers and lakes in Ireland. It is said to have a sleek black coat and webbed feet and was also called the Otter King. The Dovar Ku is said to be aggressive towards humans and there are many stories of it attacking and killing people who venture close to its territory. It is said to be able to emit a piercing, almost human-like scream which it uses to intimidate its prey and also warn off potential threats. Number 6. Krom Kruak This is a pagan deity who was worshipped by the ancient Irish. According to legend, Krom Kruak was a dark and malevolent god who demanded human sacrifice for his worship. He was said to be large as a black stone idol surrounded by 12 smaller idols, each representing a month of the year. In some accounts, he is described as a large black stone idol surrounded by these 12 smaller idols, while in others, he is said to have looked like a giant serpent or a terrifying worm. Number 7. The Morrigan The Morrigan is a goddess from Irish mythology who is often associated with death, war and fate. She is typically depicted as a powerful and enigmatic entity who can take on the form of a crow or a raven. The Morrigan is also sometimes associated with death and the underworld and is said to be able to shapeshift into the form of a banshee or a death omen. In some legends, she is said to have the power to control over the fate of individuals and to bring about their downfall. Number 8. The Koranak This is a creature from Irish folklore that is sometimes referred to as the mother of demons. It is said to have been a powerful and malevolent creature, often described as a serpent or a dragon-like creature or either as a gigantic worm. According to legend, the Koranak was a terrifying creature that quickly grew into the large sea monster that was terrifying and was eating all the cattle in the land. Also known as the Worm of Logdair, it was slain by St. Patrick after a heated argument. Number 9. The Ellen Trekken the Ellen Trekken is a three-headed monster referred to in Irish mythology as a demon with three heads. The origins of this Ellen Trekken is not well known but some scholars believe that it may have been inspired by the traditions of the Banshee, which is a spirit associated with death and misfortune. Elsewhere, it is mentioned as having emerged from the cave of Croacan and laid waste to Ireland until it was killed by the Ulate poet and hero called Amergan. Number 10. The Bananak in early Irish and Scottish folklore, the Bananak were pre-natural beings described as spectres which haunts battlefields. 
These terrifying screeching demons that live in the air may have had the appearance of goats. They were linked to acts of murder and death. They also may have been related in a way to banshees, but differ in that banshees, whale and horn families while the bananak are drawn to wars and battles, especially after a bloodshed. Number 11. The Mucky Mucky is the name given in Irish folklore to a mysterious creature said to inhabit the lakes of Killarney in Ireland. Scientists once performed a series of sonar scans in 2003 to determine local fish populations there. However, a large solid object in the water was recorded, which has led to the theory that the lake might be inhabited by some form of lake monster, similar to the famed Nessie of Loch Ness. In October 2004, a Japanese TV crew spent a week there in the region looking for Maki, but to no avail. And number 12, the Sluag. This is a creature from Irish mythology that is also known as the host of the unforgiven dead. It is often described as a horde of army of restless spirits who are set to fly through the air and roam the countryside, causing mischief and mayhem wherever they go. The slog is often associated with death and danger and is said to be particularly active during the winter months, where the veil between the worlds is thinnest. So I hope you have enjoyed watching this video on the 12 Irish monsters. Do hit the like button for support and subscribe, but most of all, smash that bell icon for regular updates on new videos right here on this channel. Till the next one, take care fam.